Hello, you guys. Welcome to Vlogmas. I don't know what day it is. Um, it is Sunday, so happy Sunday. My favorite day of the week. I love Sundays so much. Um, it's 11 o'clock, and I was up at around 8.30 because I had makeup to do, so I did that. Had to get everything ready, clean my brushes, all that stuff, but I finished, and I already cleaned up my little work area. Got everything done. I took Lenny for a very short walk, but he needed it, so I took him on one. Um, I exported all the footage that I need to edit once I get back from the mall, but I'm about to jump in the shower right now, and we're going to go to the mall. I need to pick up pods, Nespresso pods. I'm probably just going to do the same ones as always, the Puerto Rico pods, maybe another pod that is seasonal just for fun, and then... I will probably browse around just a little bit. Um, I'm not gonna go to like every store, but I'm probably just gonna browse around since I'm already at the mall. I never go to the mall. Um, and then I'm gonna go to Trader Joe's because like I had told you guys, I think the other day, we're about to be completely out of our like conditioning mask that we use and me and Tyler both use it. So it runs out a little bit faster than normal. What was I about to say? Oh, I need to take out, we're doing burgers for dinner. We love doing that on Sundays. It's super fun. Um, so I'm just taking the burgers out to defrost and I just have to pick up everything for the burgers. So I think I'm gonna pick up um, like burger meat or hamburger buns. I'm gonna get lettuce because we don't have any tomato. Um, we have like mayo, mustard, ketchup. We have cheese. Um, I just want like the veggies. We have onions, so I don't need that. And then I'm probably gonna get my creamer that I absolutely love just to have. It lasts for a really long time, so I'm probably just gonna get like two bottles and just store it. And then I might get Tyler a couple of like his favorite snacks. And that's really it. Maybe a meat for tomorrow um, because we won't have our HelloFresh until Tuesday. So I'll probably do that. Tyler doesn't even know that I bought everything for the cookies. I haven't even told him. But um, I'm about to jump in the shower and get ready. I think I'm gonna wear my sweatsuit. Like, it's a little bit, a little bit chilly today. It's not cold at all. It's, I think the high is gonna be like 75. So I think I'm gonna wear my sweatpants with my new Cuts crop top because I wanna wear it. Oliver, I know you're really comfortable, but like, I need to make a bed. What the hell happened here? This cat does not care if I'm trying to make the bed. He's like, can you leave me alone? <laughs> um, so yeah, so I'm gonna take a shower and I'm gonna listen to church while I'm in the shower and getting ready. So I feel like I haven't talked much to you guys this week and I don't know why. Oh, probably yesterday, because all I did was clean yesterday. I'm hungry. I think I'm gonna get myself a little Starbucks. I feel like a, a trip to the mall is like grounds for Starbucks, you know? Am I the only one? I feel like kind of like the Target thing, like when you go to Target, it's almost like you want, like it's like you don't even need coffee, but you just need to have Starbucks. You already went for a walk, leave me alone. I had coffee already, so I don't even know if I want that. I think I just want like a little breakfast sandwich. Something like light and just simple to eat. I'm kind of torn between putting a hat on. Insert ourselves into the narrative. And in order to do that, I need you to do a substitution. I need you to switch out the weight of this body for the weight of your burden. You gotta make that switch first. I don't know if you ever had to carry the weight of a, of a burden, like like the weight of a, of a child who's been acting out in school or the weight of trying to finish school to get your diploma, or the weight of chasing an impossible dream, or the weight of carrying a relationship by yourself because you feel like you're the only one that's trying to put any effort into it, and now it's on the rocks, or the weight of having to literally carry a sick family member. B, I want to speak to you today on the topic weight and B. Jared, you good? Hang out there for a little bit. I'm going to come back for you. 
Don't look at Jared. Don't make him feel awkward. Eyes up here. Here's the first thing. We want to show a knock on your door. You would be in your drawers or on your PJs. and A million dollars. Oh, my goodness. This is crazy. Jesus is not going to show up to your house like that with your miracle. All right, guys. So I'm ready. I threw some waves in my hair just to have some texture. I have on the t-shirt, the crop tee from Cuts, the sweatpants that I bought um, at Walmart, the New Balance, I think they're 327s, I'm pretty sure. Um, same makeup as always, this necklace is from XIXI and these are my favorite hoops from Amazon. So, I'm about to grab all my stuff. I am hungry. Where's my wallet? Where did I put it? Where did I put it? Did I leave it in the car? Did I leave it in the kitchen? Kitchen. If you didn't already know this, um, Nespresso will give you these bags to put all of your pods in. And I think you can drop this off back at the store yeah you can drop this off back at the Nespresso boutique so you literally just fill it with your pods and they recycle them so I'm going to do that I've been collecting all the pods I'm gonna bring this with me and I'm gonna put it in a bag a shopping bag so I'm not like I don't even have shopping bags what shopping bag are you going to put it on? I'm just going to carry it like this whatever Hi, any food for today? yes actually do you guys have the bacon gouda and egg sandwich yeah I do can I have that Sounds good, eh? can I also get hot sauce with it like a little packet yeah. awesome um, and then can I also do a I'm gonna do a tall iced caramel brulee latte with no whipped cream, please. Um, and can I also get like a tall ice water? Sure. That's it. Thank you. I was jamming and I don't even know if I went right past my exit. I have a feeling I did. Why don't I know this already? No idea. Yeah, I definitely went right past my exit. What a moron. I haven't even started eating yet. Got my bug. So annoying. I'm only 12 minutes from this mall. Now I'm 16 minutes. I got that damn Gouda sandwich, you guys. Oh, she didn't give me the hot sauce. Damn it. Do I have one in my car? I might. Mm. At the light. Use the left lane to turn onto North John Young Parkway. One thing I'm gonna always have is hot sauce. I used to have a hot sauce, um, hopefully this is still good, keychain. Tyler got it for me when we first started dating. So I would carry sriracha with me. Mmm. Mm -mm. Stay in the right three lanes. I'm back downtown. I mean, the hood is where I'm at. Definitely in the hood. Yeah, I have no idea where I am. Like. <laughs> Mm -mm. No clue. Okay, so what am I going to get? I think I'm going to park at... I don't know. 
because here's the thing Macy's is where the boutique is the Nespresso boutique if I see my white shirt I'm gonna be pissed but Macy's is on one complete opposite end of the mall and any other stores that I go to are on the complete other end so it's like do I park at Macy's and go to Nespresso on the way back to the car like leaving I know I'm on the way. Oh, there's a pair of sneakers in the middle of the road. That's cool. Columbia. Oh, you guys, I am in the hood. I don't know where the hell I went. the jail no wonder i'm by prison <laughs> i'm funny it's not funny the 33rd my mom used to work at that jail she was like does did like secretary work <sighs> yeah i just feel like putting my camera away because i don't have tinted windows so you yeah. know all right guys i made it out of the mall i only bought well, one, I did not find a croissant ornament. I went into Anthropology. I looked through Macy's, and Macy's was having 75% off of their ornaments. They didn't have a croissant. They had a blueberry waffle, but I was like, we don't eat blueberry waffles. I mean, Tyler likes blueberry waffles, but that's, like, not it. Um, I went into William Sonoma. I went into Bloomingdale's. No ornament. I went into um, Urban Outfitters nothing so i was like whatever i'm letting it go unless i go into hobby lobby but i just don't feel like going there um so i'm leaving the mall i got my nespresso pods and i got a new pod to try that i've never had before so i'm excited to try that and all the smell like you know when you walk through like Macy's or Bloomingdale's how it just smells like so much cologne Gross Like oh it like ever since having COVID cologne just smells so weird to me um, and Tyler wants a cologne for Christmas and I'm like, I don't know what cologne to get for you because I hate them all right now I got two things from Diptyque, new things that I've never tried, and I'm so excited. I'll show you guys once I get home, though. This is one of the candles. It smelled so nice in the store. So I got a small size. They're like limited edition for Christmas. Um, I wanted to get a small base candle, but they were sold out. And then I was like, oh, should I get a big one? And then I was like, oh, let me let me not. Like, I don't need to buy candles. Like, I don't need to. And then she's like, oh, you're a, are you a loyalist? Like a Bloomingdale's loyalist? And I'm like, I am. And she's like, oh, we have, if you spend a hundred, you get $20 off, I think. Something like that. So I was like, okay, well, I guess. Or maybe it was 150. Oh, I don't remember. Oh, it's 150. You get 25% off. I definitely should have got another thing. That is so annoying. I'm a dummy.
and then I got pods and she gave me some samples. Colombia and Costa Rica. But anyways, I am off to Trader Joe's to get a couple of groceries and things. You guys, so I just got home and from the car I can see my front door and Tyler's gift got here. Well, one of Tyler's gifts. And they didn't, it's not even in a box. If it would have been Tyler who got home before me, he would have seen it. All right, guys. Go. I'm home. So let's show you the few things that I got. I feel like I was gone all day. It's 2.30. I don't even remember what time I left, to be honest. Oh, I need to go off this hot. Okay. <sighs> Actually, I need to use the bathroom first. Be right back. Okay, now let's, let's talk about what I got. First off, I'm extremely thirsty. The way that I need to start editing now. They gave me um, a little thing, a little like coupon that it's get a free sleeve if you purchase six or more. That's a lot. <laughs> Of sleeves. I mean, normally I do get six or more, but yeah. Then they gave me this little sample thing, one of Colombia and one of Costa Rica. So, got those to try. One, two, three of the cafecito de Puerto Rico. And I got one caramel cookie. I've never tried anything like this, but I do want something. I did want something that was a little bit like not, I don't know how to describe what I'm saying. Like not an espresso. Like I want something that's a little bit like softer for like days that like I just want a big cup of coffee. And then I had her give me just another one of the recycling bags because yeah. So that's what I got from Nespresso. Then I went into Bloomingdale's to go to Diptyque, my fave. And like I said, I got the Sapping, I think is how it's pronounced, Sapping, Sapping. It's French, so I don't know. But it's for pine, it's basically their pine candle. I've never smelled a pine like this before. It smells like pine, but I don't know, something, Wait a minute, I thought this was the candle. This isn't what I wanted. God, I'm a dumbass. Yeah, this isn't what I wanted. I wanted the candle, not the freaking room spray. Okay, I need to take this back. Because I didn't want this. Like, it smells delicious, but I didn't want it. This smells beautiful, beautiful. And look at the, the packaging is stunning. Like this is gorgeous, but I'm gonna have to go back because that's not what I wanted. That will go back. <sighs> it's so annoying. And then what I actually wanted, well, this isn't what I wanted actually. I've always wanted to try it, but this isn't what I originally wanted. I got the Bay's room spray. And you guys know I always get the candle. I was gonna get myself a small size and they were completely out of stock. So I was like, oh, should I get the big one? I was like, no, I felt kind of guilty spending $70. So instead I spent 68 on the room spray. It doesn't make any sense, but it is a large room spray. Mm. The smell, I asked her, I was like, is there any fragrance that you guys have? That's even remotely close to this. And she was like, nope. I was like, they need to make one. They need to make it. Immediately. Because I need it. I was like, I want everything that smells like this. It smells so good. So I got that just for days that I don't have the candle lit. I don't want to light the candle. I can spray the room spray. And it's pretty. And it'll look pretty on 
you know, the table, whatever. So anyways, I need to unpack all of this. I need to fill up my, actually, I don't even have that anymore. So, you guys remember I bought this boot? I'm gonna put my Nespresso pods in here because I used, what I used to carry was like this little jar um, for the oats, the rolled oats. I am chaos, pure chaos. Okay, well that's great. Okay, I have just this clear plastic. That's the benefit of shopping like directly through Nespresso. You get a lot of little perks and samples and I might save one of these for my dad because he's my secret Santa. So maybe. I might save one for my dad and he likes um, the Nespresso and my sister got him a machine for his for Christmas last year. So I need to get all this cleaned up like right now because I need to start editing. It is going to take me hours to edit the next vlog that you guys are going to see. So... I'll check in with you guys later. I'm probably gonna make myself a little mimosa, a cranberry mimosa because I have cranberry juice and get to editing. Hold on, I didn't even show you guys what I got at Trader Joe's. How ghetto of me, hold on. I left the entire bag in the living room. Anyways, let's show you, shall we? So, hamburger buns. I actually left the store without them. And this was the main thing that I went for, so I had to go back in Make the line again for the damn hamburger buns. I got some romaine for burgers and salads and all that. Two of the non-dairy brown sugar oat creamer. Literally the best creamer that ever exists. It's so, so damn good. I got a tomato. One tomato for the burgers. I got seasoned waffle fries. Tyler loves waffle fries. So I was like, ooh, let me get those for like the side. Two of my Trader Joe's coconut hair mask this is the only thing that i've used for the last i don't even know how many years as my conditioner tyler loves it he puts it in his beard and it like softens his beard so i got two i usually always get one or two when i go i got the cubed garlic because it is extremely convenient and i got this bottle of fruit this is i don't know never heard of it but it was there in their sparkling section so i got it i only spent 30 $35? Yeah, $35. I'm gonna keep this bag. So now I'm going to put all this away and get to editing. Hours later, I have been sitting outside this entire time with Lenny. It's like the temperature's dropping. It's like in the low 60s. So it's like actually comfortable to be outside. So I've been sitting outside this entire time editing and I'm finally done. I don't remember what time it was when I started editing. I still have my comforter drying from yesterday doing laundry. But I have a 40 minute vlog going up for Vlogmas Day 11, which is lovely. I have been drinking little cranberry mimosas. There's cranberry rosemary, um, cranberry juice, and brot in here. And I just really would like for Tyler to come home. He's actually tattooing another tattoo artist and every time he tattoos another artist, he's very, very hard on himself because I think it's anything like if you're a mechanic and you're working on somebody's car you want to make sure you do like the best job ever for me if I have to do a makeup artist makeup like that is so much pressure um, and especially with artistry like if you're an artist doing something on another artist like artists artistry is so different to everybody and art is perceived so differently to everybody what you see is not what somebody else sees so when another artist reaches out to him to get tattooed he's like super honored but gets stressed out because it's like they they like his art they want his art on his body and it freaks him out and he's actually tattooing this girl tattoo artist who's puerto rican and so he's tattooing el morro on her which is i i cannot wait to see what it looks like it's gonna look so nice but he left this morning i was doing makeup at 9 45 and he left at like 10 30 10 45 and it's 4 43 so he's been gone all freaking day and he was gone all day yesterday and i'm just like i haven't seen him and then tomorrow he's off but i have to go 
package orders tomorrow so like i'm not really gonna see him much and i just feel like i haven't seen him at all so i'm like waiting for him to come home like bro come home and you guys know like i've talked about it a lot like i value alone time i love being by myself i flourish when i'm alone i like running errands alone i like shopping alone i need to be by myself like i need it i crave it but once i'm like okay i'm good like i'm like when are you coming home hi wellies hi nanny come here come come here oh he's being a brat come here I'm gonna go wrap Tyler's tattoo, or Tyler's tattoo, Tyler's gift while we're here waiting for this video. Come on, Wadis, come on. Okay, bye. See you later, Lenny. Of course, every time. So I'm gonna leave my laptop out there to export and I'm going to wrap this gift, but I think I'm gonna do it in this room in case Tyler comes home while i'm doing it i don't want him to see what i'm doing so let's see let me grab his wrapping paper it's um two ratchet jacks i don't know he said everything on his secret santa wish list are things that he really really wants so i'm like i mean i don't get it but sure then again i have candles on mine so it's like if it's what you want it's what you want like Whenever people put things on their Christmas list, I don't question it. Like, if they put it on their list, it means they want it. Like, that's it. So, I'm actually going to wrap my God Babies gift today, too. Um, so, I'm just grabbing his paper. Come on. I am... His paper, the tape, I need scissors, and ribbon i really just want to make sure that i'm done before he gets here because he will come looking for me in every room until he finds me and i don't want him to walk into the room i can't even like pick it up to be like oh let me And I'm gonna get him a cologne and I'm gonna try to get him a pair of shoes. Okay, so a couple of presents under the tree. <sighs> the pre Tyler's gift, those car jack things were freaking heavy. I'm going back outside. Come on, Lenny. To see if my video is done. Oh, it feels so good outside, guys. 
it's like perfect. My video is ready. So all I gotta do is make the thumbnail and upload and I'm done. You guys, it is, honestly, what time is it? I don't even know. It's late. Tyler just called me that he's finishing up his tattoo. It's seven o'clock. So he has been, I mean, it's been like a normal shift, like in 11 to seven. He's been working literally all day. And I'm like, hello, like, we're supposed to make burgers. We're supposed to bake cookies today. Like, where are you at? And he's like, I'm sorry, like I'm finishing up. I just seasoned our burgers. They have garlic powder, salt, um, paprika, and some seasoning that came with a Trader Joe's recipe that we had. I don't even, it's this here. Bold and savory steak spice. But it tastes really good on burgers, so... I have the burger seasoning. They're still a little bit hard in the middle, so I'm just letting them you know, completely soften. And then I am going to chop up and prepare the lettuce, the onions, and the tomatoes. And then we have like pickles. We have all the toppings, all of it. So I just want to get everything ready because I know when he gets here, he never eats. I told you guys that. He does not eat. This man does not eat all day. He left to work this morning at like almost 11. He didn't eat anything. He got up and he left. So. I already know he's, by the time he gets home and like winds down, he's going to be ready to eat. And I just, I'm hungry. Like I haven't eaten since that little breakfast sandwich and I'm freaking hungry. And. I've told you guys before, I eat more than him. Like, there is no shame in my game. He eats once, very rarely, twice a day. I need breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks. I need it all. I don't care. Like, he's good eating, like, not that much food. I am not like that. I will never be somebody that's like, oh, yeah, I only eat dinner. No. So. I'm just trying to get everything prepared so that it'll be... Like, I can throw this meat. I don't know if we're going to grill. I don't even know if we have charcoal because he's been gone all day. So, burgers are done. Cheese is getting nice and melty. Fries are in the air fryer. These fries, guys. Perfect little kick. Like they're not spicy, but they have like a nice kick to them. 